Hello everybody, all over the world. Hello and welcome to episode 230, comparison with black box and stock. Close range is the same, it's a tie. And mid range is the black box because you get that health. But on long range, it's the stock that wins because it's able to fire that fourth rocket. So this weapon got changed in a gun of my life. We haven't really looked at it now. So here's a comparison where we try to kill nine bots as quickly as we can. As you can see on the left side here is a black box, on the right side is the stock, and the stock is going to be finishing up a few seconds before that. So the fourth rocket actually makes uh, a big deal here when it comes to doing damage overall to multiple targets. However, at single targets uh, the black box usually comes out on top, and you can see here after killing the heavy, yeah, but the soldier is left at half-life, while uh, black box you have almost full health. So, this is Barn Blitz. We're gonna be a lot of Barn Blitz here, so I tried to do something different this time around. We're gonna be looking at the best unlocks combined with the black box here. So, in this uh, these few recordings here, there's gonna be the shotgun. We're gonna see how the shotgun pairs with this thing. I did not do the gunboats, because gunboats basically you just jump around and it's not that big a deal. So, I don't think uh, we need to cover that, but we will cover uh, pretty much everything else except the mantrids, because they suck. And nobody ever uses those. So with the shotgun, it kind of doesn't work that great. And the same with the reserve shooter, we're just going to look at later. And the fact is, you have one less rocket to begin with. So you only have three instead of four, right? So that's like 100 damage less initially. But you get that like additional health. And you really rely on that additional health. Because soldier is a power class. And power classes need healing. So you're kind of trading off some power to get that healing. So you don't necessarily uh, need medic. So uh, with the black box, you should probably be using the black box and not much else. So that's why shotguns and stuff doesn't really go well with it because you don't have that high DPS from the start. So the shotgun isn't strong enough or rather the targets aren't weak enough after you fire the rockets to finish them off with a single uh, shotgun blast. So there's a huge difference there in just one clip. However, the, uh, in the gunmetal it was changed so you don't get 15 health per hit but rather up to 20 health if you do enough damage. Uh, and that's uh, damages, of course, depend on how many targets you hit. It's combined damage, so if you stand really far away and you hit like 10 dudes, you're gonna get 20 health, and if you hit one, you might get five or something, depending on like how close you hit and stuff like that. So, you can see that with, uh, using with the shotgun, you know, it works, but it's definitely not uh, the best. I mean, definitely if you, if you use the style a lot, you can do that. And here we have the medic who says, fuck gravity, with the gibbous and uh, fire evasion, you know, as you do. So, there's gonna be a lot of holes in that, that the, the barn blitz, yeah, that's the name of this map. And here we have shotgun, ah, finished him off, and now we have to reload, and there's sentries and stuff, and we didn't even bother with that. And then we died shortly after, oh, okay. Right. So, we had a vaccinator make that we had to deal with, uh, pain in the ass if you don't have a shotgun, but I'm not sure if you saw that there, but uh, thanks to the black box, we actually survived. So we are going to take a look at that one more time here. So here comes the pyro, you know, watch our health. So we hit him and we uh, get some health back, but it doesn't show for some reason. Because we did hit him. And look at our health now. It goes down to 6 or 8 or whatever, and we got a plus 20. So thanks to the heal from the medic and the black box, we actually survived there. And then the pyro got taken out. So it's a good day for us. We survived and the medic survived too. And the pyro's dead. Call that a win, eh? And then also a uh, downside with the shotgun is that it takes a long time to reload because you have two weapons to reload and not just one. And we also managed to get the medic after being killed, so staying alive actually we did something as opposed to spend like 20 or 30 seconds doing nothing. And then we died, you know, as, as we... So of course, use standard playstyle as a soldier. Also if you knock him in the air, like this. Like this, no, not like this, yeah, like that. With the random crits, you can try and shoot them with the shotgun, but the uh, vaccinator medics are pretty good at dealing uh, with soldiers, and especially if you don't have like a lot of a focus fire, you know, like teaming up, that um, it's going to be very difficult to deal with as a single soldier. And this is also on a Valve server, by the way, so you're going to be seeing a very varied uh, gameplay here, somewhere we do extremely well and somewhere we do extremely poorly. That's just because the gap. And the way people play is very bad, like this medic. I'm like, activate charge, activate charge. And there he sits with the crit, and we get the crit of dreams, and the vaccinator medic selected the wrong 
defense, and we kill them. And the pirate dies too, and everyone's happy. Yeah. Oh, we have a spare one. All right, so 185, and bam. Got taken out. Oh, sentry. Good. So, as we've seen, the shotgun, it works all right. Like, you can do stuff like that, but then again, you do want that health. But luckily, our medic heals us, and the pyro doesn't really burn us, but we die regardless. Anyway, so there we go. More pyros and burns, and we're dead. Right. So, now we use the shotgun for a little bit. Didn't really work that great. We're gonna try to reserve a shooter, or the reverse shooter, as all the cool kids call it. Including myself with my cap the other way around. So the whole idea with the reserve shooter is to launch them in the air and shoot them in the air while they're flying to do mini crit damage. And you switch to it faster and yeah, basically that's it. You have less clip. But the problem is, like I mentioned before, it's similar to the uh, shotgun issue, is that you rely on heal to stay alive and survive. And having that one less clip and initial damage output is not going to be enough to kill the target. So often they'll be uh, barely staying alive and you whip out your shotgun and they have just a smidge too much health for you to finish them off. So here, once again, we're trying to defend here and we actually got the demo here and uh, that would have been the same as the shotgun because we didn't actually mini crit on them. And once again, they keep, you know, attacking. We jump in with the Uber and of course, like, Ubering a black box soldier is kind of a fucking waste, right? You can see there the heavy survived if we had maybe an additional rocket that uh, shot there would have taken him out, so... Black box is more for like the independent soldier, while as the stock is more if you have like a medic healing you and you have a lot of health, because basically like the black box doesn't really, I mean it works, but it doesn't work as well as a stock because of that one clip. And uh, maybe one on one targets, yeah sure, sure, but when it comes to multiple targets and entire teams, then uh, so you will notice a big difference. Uh, but with the stock and the black box. Black box, yeah, you don't die as much, but you also don't kill as much. So, trying to kill the dudes. Very low on health. We managed to get a kill somehow. Somebody maybe had like one health. And then we go back to medic who shoots crossbow and misses. I want to see a statistic of how many crossbows are fired and how many of them actually hit something. I want to see that graph. If anyone has that. I doubt anyone does. So, using the whip, of course. It's kind of like the support weapon. I'm already like a sort of support soldier, so it makes sense to use it. I reload here and the medic's gonna look at me and then we're gonna whip him and then we're gonna go and do the attack right so coming in here gonna try and launch him in the air and use okay so now i spent time on this thing and i don't have anything left so might as well whip people get a random crit i'm gonna whip it into shape he explodes courtesy of another demo man's pipe there and um, then we die so the problem is if you spent three rockets and you spent the four shots from the reserve shooter then you're out of luck. You're, you're fucking screwed, pretty much. Because um, you have to start re reloading things and you're reliant on having that, you know, health. You're used to getting the health, but you don't get it because you have to reload and then you die. But then we get random crits and everything is cool again. So there's that uh, vaccinator medic again. We shoot the soldier, but, you know, 82 health is not going to be enough and he's just going to heal up. We actually just sabotage ourselves there because if you're killing, shooting at someone and you don't kill them, then uh, you're just gonna help the medic enemy medic build. So fuck, keep that in mind. We're also gonna take uh, that into mind a bit later when we look at the other unlocks here. But so far, uh, reserve shooter doesn't really work that great because uh, it isn't always you crit with it. And then you have to spend time reloading and you don't really want to spend time reloading your shotgun when you can just use the black box all the time. Like I said earlier, the uh, additional clip is additional 300 or 400 or 100 damage less, like the stock is 400, like 100, 100 damage per rocket, close up. And then additional shotgun damage after that, but here it's 300 and then additional shotgun damage and it just isn't enough uh, most of the time. So that's why you probably see don't see a lot of soldiers running this kind of getup, because it makes sense to use uh, something else. But we aren't uh, giving up. We're going to try and see if we can do anything. But sometimes anti-aircraft shotgun is pretty cool sometimes. I mean, it sounds cool, but works better with stock or uh, Liberty Launcher if the Liberty Launcher wasn't crap. So there we go. Going to try and kill the medic. Oh, we got shot and uh, taunt kill for style points. 
There's a heavy, and we decide to switch to the uh, reserve shooter after he was dead. So we would have taken him out there, but it was enough, so it's pretty good. Be sure to whip people into shape. Also, the whip should have a new stat that says only makes enemy or friendlies run faster sometimes, because it's not all this it does that. Sometimes you even hit people that's behind you for some reason. So doing the chip damage, not enough. I have to spend this time downtime reloading. All right, let's go. One rocket, two rocket. And there's that heavy we can't kill. We even get a double random crit, but it's not enough because he has that resistance and there's really not a lot else that does damage here. So we're gonna go and go in here with this quick fix, but we can't really get close. And we have to retreat here, get some ammo, and then reload this one sheet clip here and uh, go back into the action. And defend, we get the uber popped on us, so let's jump. Let's use this, okay. Right then, so time to use, uh, look at Safer's awesome hat, by the way. Doesn't it look great? So now we're gonna move over to the battalion's backup, the item that came with the black box originally. This thing has been changed uh, too, so you have 20 more health, and uh, actually, rocket jump height isn't affected by the uh, damage boost you get. But this kind of uh, this weapon makes more sense, right? Because you're gonna shoot a lot to get more health and do a lot of pot shots. You're not gonna commit as much as you do with the rocket launcher, because with the rocket launcher, you jump in and it's like, oh, you have this amount of time to kill someone before you're dead, right? So either you get the kill or you don't. But here, it's like you you don't get the kill as fast as you wanted anyway. So you're gonna do a lot of more pot shots and a lot of chip damage and chip damage equals you're gonna build Stuff so now we have a full charge here and all oh, look at that. We saw the spine Predictable and that was so predictable because if you suddenly see health packs and shit disappearing then there's an enemy spy And also it got a different uh, sound in the tough break I believe I don't remember when this was documented I haven't used this this much because I'm more of a base jumper guy, but there you go now we get really effectivize the healing because we take less damage, and we, but the heal stays the same, so the effective heal actually kind of increases compared to the enemy damage. So that's always cool. Keep in mind, you don't get heals from buildings, so if the enemy has a lot of sentries and shit, you might want to change away from the black box because you actually don't get a lot out of it. And you can see that from that distance, we got 10 health. We're gonna go back, grab this, and we, almost, we have over 200 health, thanks to the um, battalion's backup because health packs are based on your total health. So if your total health increases, that means small health pack and medium health packs is gonna generate more health than before. So this is the part where you really start to feel this is a valve server because the enemy team isn't really all that great. And our, our, we have like competent teammates, that's their spawn, they're like retreating at full health, running forward, not really paying attention to the rockets flying at them, spies missing stabs and stuff like that. So now we're low on health and of course, you could go in with low health, but it's better to grab a health kit, get some heals, and then go and attack anyway. Uh, to then die. Regardless, so it didn't really matter, did it now? So once again, we're gonna whip our teammates into shape. Still running that, uh... Battalion's backup. The BB, as it's called. Same as the buff banner and the beggar's bazooka and the... Minigun. So, even after that engagement, we got full health. We whip the heavy into shape. And some of a pyro got and flanked us with the back burner. Good on him. It's actually one of the few places where the back burner is actually pretty good. If used correctly. So, just doing pot shots here because, you know, low on health. I want to get some heals. If I can hit more than, you know, a couple of targets and maybe it's 20 health there. I got 10. Go back, grab the health kit, and then we're gonna jump back into action here. And also, having the battalion's backup can also add up for having to rocket jump, you know, because you have more health. And, uh, but not always does it pay off. Sometimes you die before, even with the heals and the additional health. So, in that example. So we're trying to get this pyro, we get him. Gonna reload. Speed things up, because this is a bit of a longer one. Killing a couple of sentries. There's a heavy behind us. Shoot the rockets. Have to reload. Shoot the rocket. Reload. Shoot the rocket. Kill him. He didn't shoot at us, so that's why we're alive. Get the crits. Try to shoot where you think they're gonna go. Now we have a full charge as well. Then we're gonna reload and blow the horn, and we're ready to go and attack some more. Taking reduced damage here. And effectively that, getting a random crit air shots, which is the best air shots ever. You can see there's a lot of dudes, but we don't get any more than 20 health per rocket. So that's a big difference. It's like normally in that case we would have gotten probably like full health in one rocket, and that was kind of ridiculous. So, max 20 health per rocket. 
Which is okay, I think, compared to the uh, burst damage you lose and the fact that shotgun doesn't work that well with it. So we get like crits plus battalion spec up equals your team is dead as shit. And now you can see the enemy team is using the strategy of attacking one at a time. So we're just gonna go and uh, spawn camp for the rest of the match. Spoilers. Uh, but spot something they could have done different. All right, so that pyro knows I'm here, right? So let's see, that soldier like really doesn't notice that I kill another pyro. So now there's two pyros that know I'm here. And now there's three. Let me blow the horn. Oop. And jump back up again. And oh, we have people going down on the lower ground. That's fine. But they they aren't attacking. We have one pyro run out at a one in time, and then the rest stood inside the spawn. And we get crits again. Yay! Killing that guy, shooting into spawn. Open says me. Yep. Thank you for opening the door. And shoot the ammo to get the ammo. You know, so you don't have to go all the way to grab it. And now we have another buff banner. Uh, Battalion's backup. Sorry, they're both on B. We also have a center here, just for good measure, you know. What could have this team done differently? Well, they could, you know, pay attention and not have, like, four pyros that doesn't run out of spawn even, or air blast, or anything. Maybe a short circuit engineer would have helped. Or not having four AFK. So, we just need more ammo. Time's about to run out. Pretty one-sided. And also, the battalion backup just adds insult to injury, because we're just doing so much damage. And there you go. Fucking victory. Didn't even top frag. I mean, who cares? Points! You get points. Alright, so now we're on attack. Battalion's backup works best on attack, I think, and buff banner works best on defense, just because when you're attacking, you kind of want to survive long enough to get to the front. So we're gonna see how this works. First, we're gonna whip our fat asses into shape, and then go for a bomb on the medic here, which we get because he was out of position. Soldier there missed the crit air shot, but that's okay. We're gonna try and make up with it with a market! Market disciplinary action. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Nice. Nice. And there's a demo there as well. Shoot one, shoot rocket, shoot reload, shoot reload, shoot reload. That DPS isn't that much lower than if you just shoot, so... It actually isn't... I like I tested this. There isn't a lot of point to shoot three rockets, wait, and then shoot three new rockets if you're already in combat. Just keep shooting until the situation's over. So, uh, once again, we have reduced damage, and we're going to use the strategy of running into the enemy spawn and killing them and not dying. And here you can see the uh, statues, AFK dudes in the spawn. We cap so the pyro can't retreat, and we have so much health plus healing that the pyro can't kill us. We have 330 health. That's pretty good. Sentry, not going to be able to be finished in time. And you can see the enemy team is retreating at full health, meaning that uh, we can just keep marching on. So, having this additional health, you can kind of go on the flank by yourself. You're not really that dependent on a medic at this point. So, we also like to whip people into shape if they would follow us. Engineer tries to build. And he's, he's like in the front, right? So, his team is just so not helping him because they're all fucking dead. So, whip the medic into shape. We take this spawn. The other guy takes the other. All right. So, let's have a little dance while we wait. Oh, there's one. That's the same engineer. <laughs> and the medic. And uh, the Uber's gonna fade soon, so might as well just blow the Metallus back up while we stay inside the spawn here and just wait. We do some crouch fun, fun things. We are just holding. Here we go. Oh, there's a heavy with the brass beast. How will we ever survive that? I mean, he has a medic with things, and I. Oh, he's gonna. I'm just gonna shoot him back in. Retreat and eventually we're gonna run out of ammo. How will we ever deal with that? Well, we have enough for two salvos left, so. Hey, random crit, cool. Sweet, that's how we solve that. So let's, oh, there's a lots of dudes. Random crit, yeah, no more kills. Random crits are fair when I get them. Then they're the best. This heavy really doesn't know how to pay attention. So first we're gonna whack your medic and then we're gonna whack you. With a random crit, didn't even get the killer assist, fuck, whatever. Just staying and watching out for the spawn here. We have two heavies, so the enemy thought going pyro and running up to the heavy was a good idea. Fun fact, that's the counter. It's like if you're a spy and you're like, man, I should try and face stab <laughs> this pyro. All right, so that was the uh, battalion's backup. Works pretty well in terms of just surviving, so let's move on to the buff banner. 
So buff banner on offense isn't the best because you usually tend to die a lot more when, when you're attacking because you run into more shit, basically. So it's better when you're defending because then you can kind of pick and choose your fights a bit more than when you're on offense. But uh, fun fact, if you don't have the Wrangler, don't build your sentries way in the back there. Because uh, they actually have limited range and they don't shoot and you will experience that. And also if you jump into them you will uh, die sometimes. All right, whipping the medics, pushing the cart, doing the objective. We can still do that. So you can see black box works also pretty well with the buff banner because you get like bigger health regeneration, but uh, you can still die. Keep that in mind. So remember buff banner is doesn't do anything unless you have a full, uh, full banner. While as the battalion's backup actually gives you 20 more health. So there's a bigger reason to use use that. There you go. Keep in mind, buff banner is 33% more damage, so that's the same, uh, that's mini crits, the same as Jurati, so we use it with the rest of our team. Miss the air shots like a douche pod, if that's a word even. And then we try and get the sniper to get some more buff banner. So on offense, you also like the uh, where the enemy's at also changes a lot. So you don't necessarily know where they are, but when you're defending, you're kind of always like where they're at. They're in, in their choke, so it's a bit easier. Like I said, so just doing some more pot shots. You know, we want to build that banner. Don't really want to commit. We have a medic with an Uber, so we're gonna go in with that first, and then we're gonna follow up with getting the flash. Maybe yes, thanks. Getting flash, and then going back. All right, so we have this, reload, use this, and see if any of our teammates gonna run forward. They are maybe eventually, if we see someone else is in the front. And we're just gonna do a shit ton of damage here while we heal up, being at full health. And also you heal more when you use it, uh, even at longer distances, because you do more damage. So there we go, oh, bunch of dudes here. We're burning, oh, that's okay. Medic's here, saving the day, as per usual. And I wanted to whip him, you heard it made a sound, but didn't get the effect. Let's go down there, yep, there we go, do the jump. And then you're back at the spy, oh, right before uh, getting the heavy there, so that's some nice teamwork, right there. All right. Soldier here. It's gonna use him as a feeder for our buff banner. Our buff banner is almost ready to go. We're getting ready to push. This last point, we just need some chip damage to fill it up. Thanks. All right, so we're not gonna commit to that. We're gonna go and uh, get some heals from the medic here and use this at the same time. So maybe he will heal us, which he will. And then we're gonna help this heavy here by going into the front, doing a lot of damage here and healing up nicely. Oh, oh but it wasn't enough, but we did get some dudes. All right, quickly. Cut to the next attack, which we already did. So we're in the front here once again, like here. Being able to build up a buff banner here is very optimistic. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna, like 14 health. Thanks for the, uh, like if we didn't have the black box, we would have died there. So let's see how we spend our time. So we're gonna go and whip this heavy, who isn't gonna attack even though he's at full health. Doesn't have overheal, but there's really not a lot of stuff here. So there's no reason for him not to go. And we kill the soldier, got 17 health back because mini crits from Jurati. And then we get sniped. So now we're on defense here, because we won the previous round. Wasn't really that much to see. The heavy just went and pushed it in, in the hole. So medic with crits, we're gonna try and body block him and get as much charge as we can. Ooh, random crit for the win, that helps the buff banner a lot. Just need one more rocket, just one. A single rocket hitting something is all we need, and then we get that more mini crits and missing the rocket jump like a douche pod. It's called douchebag, but it's cooler if it's on pod. And then the medic kind of mispositions himself and gets killed. Whoops! All right, so using the buff banner, we hold it, and then we're gonna go next to the heavy here so we can help assist him get that additional damage done. And also, this engineer is a master of dodges, except not really. And we shoot into spawn just to do the damage. And that's a spy, we saw the smoke, he can't trick us. And just doing pot shots here and there, but saving one rocket in case you need to, you need to rock jump. And speaking of rock jumps, there you go. Keep in mind, that thing has four rockets and you only have three. So I'm getting the sniper, getting some nice charge there. It's 
a spy medic once again. But uh, needing a bit of a health. Medics there as well. We people into shape. And let's see if we can pick our fights this time. Because, like I said, buff banner, you need to pick your fight. We're gonna go and pick this fight with the uh, dude there and kill that other guy. We got plus 20 health. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we would have died if we didn't have the black box there. Absolutely, we would have died. And we have almost a full chart 5 health. All right, let's go back and grab the health. Let's go upstairs and grab health too. Just fire pot shots. Maybe we hit something that gives us the last, last tiny bit of uh, charge there. We need to get the buff banner going. Oh, oh we're lo losing health. Uh, doing the pot shots. See, is anyone there? Oh, we hit something, but it's not enough. All right, so we got the conch here. Double health, double healing, because we heal while we heal. Let's close to the exhibit loadout, which we'll uh, see later. Not a good example of it though, but that might be another video. All right, so now we have this, and we have a medic healing us, and we have another soldier with us. So we're gonna go attack the soldier. <laughs> medic has one health, so he might not be with us for the rest of the uh, attack here, but that's fine. We're gonna go in and get the snipe. We got him. Nice. Nailed it. Sweet. All right. So, oh, hello. Right. Guess I got outplayed. All right, so I got a full charge. Ready to rock and roll. Get the pyro, try not to get reflected. Killing the sniper, he, like you see, we are already at full health. We get so much health from this. Mini crits are great. High ground, buff banner, soldier. Oh shit, this guy again. Uh, Fuck, missed the ear shot. Watch the health. 12. Plus, we have 77 health and 6. Whoa. Well, if I knew math, I knew I would have been dead there, but uh, I survived. Yeah. And uh, how do I spend this time? Do I die to this pyro? Missing the reflect kill on me, but camping the health pack. We're alive and get the pyro as well, and we're out of here. We can't contain anymore because. Want to coincide with the timings of that. And oh, jump away, saving that one rocket. Surviving, need the charge, go back quickly. Get the health back. Build the charge. Okay, we got the charge and we need to reload and we're the only guys in the front, there's no one else. Get on the cart and bam, boosh. Kablamo, like soldier says. So that worked out in our favor. It's always nice to, if you're a bit unsure, save that one rocket and if things get too dicey, you just jump on out of there. So once again, another charge here on defense. It's just a scout here, but like there's no point in saving the, the charge if there's only one guy. Just spend it whenever you're gonna shoot normally because um, you're gonna have to use it sometime and you can't switch weapons as long as you're holding it. This demo is like, fuck everything, fuck your whip, fuck that health pack, I'm gonna go up here. Okay, scouts once again, sticking to high ground, shooting down, just a very basic soldier stuff, trying to get epic air shots, but missing everything. And soldiers behind us, and we die from the fall. Maybe if we got a better hit there, we might have survived, but that's okay, because we eat a pipe and take 100 damage. We're down to half health. But that's okay, we're gonna go and not grab the health kit immediately, because we're not pussies. So instead, we're gonna leave that health back for someone else. We're gonna jump up here, and yeah, get that guy, get that sniper. Yeah, 11 health, sweet. Hello again! Grabbing health, go. Oh. oh, hello. That guy again. Okay, so areas. I'm not sure if that was him, but that was someone else going around. And you can see why. Like, this is all just in one map, so this obviously like the effectiveness of the different uh, secondaries here with the, combined with the black box will vary from map to map. Like a map where you can do a lot of rocket jumping, uh, like around on the side, like King of the Hill maps. That might be uh, a bit better than like to use it here because I don't see any point using like the gunboats on a map like this. So uh, I wanted the comparison to be like a single map, like Barn Blades here, just just a map that isn't bad water, basically. So now we have another charge. Important when there's a lot of engineers, uh, there used to be a sentry in this there, is to shoot at the engineers and not their buildings. And you can see we get like 20 health per rocket there. Also a medic actually was able to hit, hit with the crossbow, that's always nice too. But here in this situation, maybe, since we get so much constant heal from the medic, then using like shotgun uh, stock would have been better. But uh, we have the buff banner, so that kind of makes up for that if we're able to get that charge. And this pirate's like, fuck you and fuck me, and I'm gonna die in the stairs. 
So we tried to whip people, can't really do it. Got a full charge here, gonna retreat and reload and look at where our teammates are and then show everybody we're attacking. Then we get an Uber as well and we miss like every, almost every single rocket. But you can't miss while you're up close. And this heavy is dodging like a boss, but luckily the Demonite of Dreams, which is the next episode, that's Demonite. We win, yay, 87 points, because that means the teams were fair and I got too much heal. So now we are on attack here. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but uh, we get health now. So now we're on the Conjurer and we also use the half Side Toichi. So we're currently using the Exhibit Loadout, which is most effective if you use this and then use the half Side Toichi, right? So you gain passive heal and you gain heal when you hit him and you gain, gain heal while you heal him, while you hit him. So you can heal while you heal while you heal. So this is definitely probably the most durable, like durability-wise, durable loadout for a soldier. Like you're just able to take so much damage and stay alive for so, so much longer. Uh, but then again, um, a good hit and you're dead. Might have survived that if you had like buff banner because you do have that additional health. So it's like burst versus constant damage, right? And this is a good example of why half such which is good. Like that, you get half of your health back. Could also work well with the buff banner if you're not running the disciplinary action. But I wanted, like I normally don't use it because you can kind of be screwed if you pull it out and you can't pull it back because you're too low on health. But then like the conch adds up for that. So you can just wait. And this soldier, whoop, nope, goes over there. And uh, then we die. Good for him. So now we're on defense. I think the conch works just as good on defense and offense because you have that passive heal ability. But maybe a bit better on defense because you can pick your fights more similar to like the the buff banner in a different way. So that goes down to like the balance of do I kill them faster or do they kill me slower? So we try to kill this heavy that has uh, two medics plus resistances. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do anything with him solo. So with this, you're able to sustain more. Um, like a, a stream of damage than bursts as opposed to the battalion's backup uh, also it's a bit more an, of an offense or more of an offensive uh, buff you get like buff banner will help you survive that's more of a defense here you gain movement and if you're defending you have to kind of just move into the attackers so it makes more sense to have it on offense but works great on defense too don't get me wrong you can do this and then shoot rockets and you can see like having a medic too we heal while we heal and heal while we heal and uh, I guess a bit would be proud but one thing that's interesting is that even though we don't do a lot of damage to this heavy because of resistances, we still get the initial damage we would have done back as health. I'm not sure if that's a bug or something, but uh, I think that if the heavy's running resistances, you should probably not get your health back uh, as much. Because if you hit for like 100, but you only do 20, you should get like back for uh, for 20. Because you got like 20 health, 19, stuff like that, even though we hit the heavy. So here it's like a good example of like if you have too much defensive capabilities and not enough offense. Like it's just me, two medics, and a sniper that can't really hit anything. Versus a heavy, a cart, and two medics with resistances. So that means I can shoot at him and he won't die and he can shoot at me and I won't die. And we just shoot and the people that don't know how to position themselves die first. So at this point, I was like, we need just a spy to kill him. Because like that also, that's all you need, but we didn't get a spy to kill him. Because everybody was busy doing that. But we got a demo to kill him eventually. But yeah, like when you're in a situation like that, if I wasn't hellbent on this fucking one loadout, I would have changed around and did something to deal with that heavy. Because like that guy, like Natasha, double medic plus his cart versus team that can't position themselves equals you don't die and you win every time. So I tried to go for his medic. I was like, yeah, I can use this. All right, so I'm just gonna distract them while he taunts and the sniper somehow misses him while he taunts. So that, that's like, that's like, I mean, with Valve servers, there's like a huge gap of what, uh, like, what skill you deal with. Because before we was pretty one-sided Roland, but here it's like, if I don't stop him, then they win, pretty much. As opposed to, like, if you play with me in the session we've done with pubs, uh, that heavy would, like, have been destroyed. No problem, easy operation. But regardless, we have a crits here, and uh, it would be nice to get a full conch before the crits finishes, but we might not have time for that. So I go, activate the charge. Doc doesn't activate the charge until it's too late, and the heavy has resistances, and I do, do like, 13 damage, and we all fucking die. And he apologized later for not paying attention. So once again, new crits, Krieg. And now we have the conch as well. So now I wish we had a command that said, follow me. 
So I want to bring this heavy downstairs. Like, I don't want to go out that, cho that choke. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to use it. And the medic <laughs> gets disconnected. But we go out and we... At least we got the medic. And some others. And we survived. I think. Yeah. We're survivors. The heavy also took some hits. With eight health. That's why I didn't want to go down there. But random crits is my best friend. Get the kill. And thanks to the... Uh, the heals. We're able to survive here, and uh, despite the heavy having resistances on, we still get that health back, so we're a bit durable as well, a bit more mobile. But you can see we're the only ones really chasing him. I mean, we had, did have a, sp a friendly spy there, but he wasn't interested in doing anything. So, getting the kill on that, we can see we're, we're holding our weight. I mean, we're doing doing great. And also the conch heals more if there's been uh, longer since you've taken damage. Like, this is very hard to deal with, with our current loadout. So we're gonna go full exhibit! Shoot the rocket out with the sword. Fuck, there's a pyro. I can't take it down. Okay, there we go. I took it down. Lost 50 health. It's gonna help build the Uber. All right. Shoot the thing. Heal. We're in the middle. Shooting. Oh, there's... The f oh, we're dead. I mean, we tried our best, but... When you have statues in spawn... I mean, there's already two, one more on their team, and you have, like, three FK. It's pretty, pretty difficult. But then again, earlier, we uh, spawned camp the other, so... So yeah. So now we're back on to the final segment here, and that is my favorite, which is the base jumper. On this map, it might not be the best, but I think it's for me it's definitely the most fun because if you know how to use the uh, base jumper, you can do some soaring action. You're a bit more versatile in the air, and uh, I like to use the black box with this because I will be trying to use the market gardener as kind of like the the good weapon here, but uh, I'm, I'm I need to jump around a lot, and I can't use the gunboats at the same time. This demo just killed himself, or switched teams, uh, before I got to kill him. And then we won! Yay! I'm so good. Do the taunt. So there's a lot of like A and D stra strafes you can do that you have to combine with your mouse movement to get like additional movement speed. Like this, but uh, if the other guy knows what they're doing and they're not distracted by anything, it's gonna be pretty difficult. So I'm grabbing this, sniper's there, shoot, get 7 health. Trying to do air shots, can't do it, fuck it. Wait until it lands, shoot the ground, there we go. Do another jump, looking for an opening. Soar around, and you don't have to worry about spies when you're in the air, too. And then a heavy couple of kills us. So I think this works uh, best for defense as well. Because like you can kind of pick your fights more and like, hey, look at the spawn, that's a sentry. Cool, great. The good thing about like valve servers, you never know where like you're gonna find a sentry. So mad milk plus black box. That would be cool. Like if we could get mad milk, black box, conch, and the half saitoichi. Like you you deploy the conch while they're in mad milk and you hit them with the half saitoichi. That'd be cool. There's a sniper here and didn't get him the second time. We got him the second time. Still market guard still counts. Still counts. Doesn't need to be a crit. And then we go in and get him with that. That's my favorite thing to do. It's so satisfying. And then you can also use, like, if there's a slope, you just use the base jumper to just kind of slide down and, and soar around and be a bit more versatile. Uh, in, in the air, you can move. And this is how not to melee, which is to swing before they're in range. So we get the same dude again, dominating him because he uh, montages. The good thing about, like, you don't see it as much here. Oh, great shot there by me, by the way. You don't see it here as much, but uh, if you get knocked around in the air, you can kind of, like, go for a jump, and if you don't want to land, like, you, you go for a jump, and you're like, nah, I don't want to land there. You can just do a 180 and fly back and try again. And that's what I really like about the uh, base jumper, because it's like you can you can jump and commit, or you can jump and not commit. And also, people who try to air shot you will be mad. So you get the pyro, do enough damage, 20 health. Kind of like makes up for the rocket jumping damage you're taking. And that's also why I think like gunboats works best with either like airstrike or stock or something like that. There's a sniper and also we don't have like a lot so we have to float in order to like do this. So right now might not have been the best choice to use this. And this is how not to do it. If you have a couple of rockets to the left, use those and finish them off with the uh, market gardener and not the other way around. If the other guy has Jurati Bushwacker, you fucking die like you just witnessed. So this is how to take out an engineer. 
getting sniped. And like this place, like this last is fucking notorious and using base chopper here really isn't uh, that great. But we do it regardless because we're committed. And what, watch this medic, right? So we're like, I'm in the front. I'm like, okay, he's quick fixing me. I'm going in, I'm taking damage, I'm going back. He stays there, like we're just occupying the space. We're soaking up a lot of damage. And then he just fucking leaves. Maybe that's like, he could see into the future and you knew about that random crit. That might have been it. And oh, there's Siki bombs over there. Don't want to engage in that. Grab this. Oh. Oh, soldier with the BB. The bigger's bazooka. So this is a cool thing you can do. You can jump, and then I see like, oh, that soldier's gonna take the health back. I'll just go back and grab this. Oop. There we go. And then I'll go back here and do a little soar. And if you do like that wiggle wiggle with A and D respectively, like air strafing, you will gain momentum and speed. And then we die. All right, so we're back once again. Like, this is fucking hard to do. All right. Oh, you don't want a melee anymore? Here, have a rocket. All right, so we're gonna hide behind this, and we're gonna take this out. One rocket, two rocket, three rocket. Got it, nice. Shit, there's another. All right. So let's see, what did our team do? Oh, the sentry's back up again, great. All of them, in fact. And also, this is, a pr this is not really a soldier tip, but if this happens, spy sapping the thing. Quickly, stand on top of it and do get killed by a scout because you weren't paying attention. Dumbass. Scout's still there, so they're like, fuck you, just fuck you. All right, grab this, keep up here. Oh, another spy. Don't worry, buddy. We, we utilize teamwork here. I'm gonna fix your teleporter right up. I'm gonna make it level three even, and the spy's back. You need, like, the, the thought of changing to engineer and just temporarily working on a teleporter to further help his team doesn't even phase him. They would either just look at it instead and watch it get destroyed. So, killing that sniper again that was in the front. And, oh my god, there's there's three now. They've multiplied. There's three sentries. All right, so now we're that didn't go well, so now we're defending. Having a bit of a laugh, trying to laugh it off. Like, ah, we lost. Ah, fuck you. All right. So then we go, uh, nope, not gonna commit to that. We're just gonna soar back. Ah, we got him too. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 low on health. Uh, go to dispenser. And mini sentry, that's really out of place. Hide back there, trying to do some pot shots. Oh, we need that health, there's no medic. Got to make do with this dispenser thing. Fuck, it's not gonna work. Got taken out because poor positioning. <laughs> All right, going in and, uh, are we gonna commit? Nope, uh, change my mind. Oh. And they have a sentry. Okay, so once again, we're gonna try and try get. Yeah, we got him. Save the rocket on that one hit. So, not really fix it. Get medic. Get the. the oh, thanks to uh, thanks to that, we stay alive and the double spy attack. But the counter is the market garden that you don't even need to market garden with. You can just hit them. And they die. So heal up to about half health. Go down, grab the health kit. That is the fastest way. Utilizing health pickups is very important when your team doesn't have a medic. And do the slam! I really love knocking people up in the air and hitting them with the marker gardener. It is satisfying. And with the black box, it allows us to give it that little extra health we need to stay alive. And we're gonna try and chase this medic here, but I think he's gonna go and get away. Okay, oh, that's a dispenser, and we have 20 health, and we're dead. All right. So this is also, I mean, you can soar like that. Also, don't take any fall damage. I think it, it adds up. So you have to utilize it a lot. I used to use it with the rock launcher before. It works just as well with the rock launcher, but you're a bit the more reliant on getting heals then. And you can do like swing arounds like that. And uh, low on health. Oh, spy. That opts to not move because he was checking his phone or something. He was busy regardless. All right. Jumping up there, making sure we can, like here. I don't really need the base jumper as much. Can be useful for like just soaring down really quickly or soaring away. Oh, get the sniper. Shoot at the heavy, grab the health. Or wait for the health rather. So there you go, more dudes. And then we die, yay. And we're back, wow, how good editing is this. Probably seen this a lot with me using this, so can work. 
But um, right here, face jumper is not good. Maybe I think battalion's backup or conch would have been the better choice here. Or maybe even the battalion's backup. Battalion's backup is great on defense and on offense, regardless. It's just that buff banner is worse at attack. So I think that uh, helps us understand the uh, black box a bit more and what's good with it. As for like pure stock comparison, yeah, it will win against the soldier stock one on one in certain scenarios, but it will be worse at taking out groups of people. And soldiers uh, with stock are great at doing that because sometimes you need that splash damage and additional rocket and the shotgun to do that. But uh, as we've seen from from my experience, I do not recommend using the black box with the uh, with a shotgun. I recommend using it with a backpack or uh, or the base jumper. But uh, back any backpack preferably is better. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully this was useful to you. And next week is or the next episode rather, which will be next week too, is going to be the Demonite episode. So there's a there was a two week collection.